Well, that was certainly an entertaining game. We've just beat Galatasaray 5-2. Uh, obviously, it's only pre-season, so you can't really take too much into context. But the two things you can put into context is the competition for places is generating player performance. You can really, really see that. A lot of fringe players that perhaps are being told that they're not going to be first choice and all that you can tell that they, they want to prove themselves they want to show that they've got the quality which is good competition for places has never been higher and uh, yeah this game as i say is only pre-season so ultimately the result doesn't matter but considering the lineup that we actually started with that is probably the strongest lineup available to us as of now when pogba joins obviously he'll be put in there and also smalling was missing because he was injured um, but other than that, it looks as though that is the team that will play against, well, I was going to say Bournemouth, but Smalling is uh, is out for that game. So it's probably going to be this team that started the game that's going to start it. And uh, yeah, it was a very strong team, so y you would have expected a route. But what was weird is we went 1-0 up, absolutely stunning goal from Zlatan Ibrahimovic. What a way to start his debut just over three minutes into it, a great cross from Valencia and a scissor kick from Zlatan manages to go in and yeah, you couldn't wish for a better start. But after that, the game quieted down and I'm not sure if it's because some players aren't fit. Maybe the new signings take time to gel. Like Obviously, you need to learn uh, how a player plays. For example, Mkhitaryan made two darting runs that maybe later in the season would have been onside, but he made the run too early or the passer just wasn't ready for the run so you just need to learn your teammates a bit more so I think a lot of that can be put down to it uh, in the first half certainly because after that we capitulated and we conceded two sloppy goals one from a free kick terrible marking at defending we really need to sort out our set pieces this season because that has been something we haven't been able to do for the last three years uh, defend or attack set pieces and then shortly after brilliant interchange from Galatasaray a 1-2 Bruma with a nice solid finish David De Gea also made a couple of great saves in the first half so the first half where we had what you would say on paper is our strongest team was certainly our worst performance and also Wayne Rooney what a weird performance he had in the first half he was abysmal every pass went to the opposition he couldn't do anything he couldn't turn he couldn't dribble couldn't beat his man couldn't shoot couldn't do anything he was shite in that first half and then second half he comes out a completely new player where we bring on five players uh, we take off Zlatan we take off Mkhitaryan Martial Schneidlin and Herrera and we bring on Carrick Fellaini Lingard um, Rashford and my mind's went completely blank there's someone else who's probably um, like big Lingard was it have I said that but anyway we brought on five players and uh, Rooney was in the centre of them still he didn't get brought off until later but he scores like it's it's great play like the second half there were so many players beating players it, it was unbelievable they were attempting to take them on and they managed it and they were beating players they were making some unbelievable one-twos there was some great passing great movement it was just a joy to watch it was attacking it was brilliant and uh, yeah Valencia with a second assist for Rooney's first goal and then shortly after that Marcus Rashford oh my god what a player gets played in he bombs through manages to outstrength one of their defenders I don't know if it was Cheju and then he takes on the goalkeeper gets round him the goalkeeper brings him down it's a penalty Wayne Rooney takes it scores his second shortly after that gets subbed off for Juan Mata who um, had a solid game as well but Valencia again three assists this game that's that's his combined total last season it, it's unbelievable yes it's only a friendly but the, it, Valencia is really really showing particularly in this game why you know he, he could be a player that will flourish under Mourinho I and a lot of other Manchester United fans had written Valencia off but maybe he's got something that uh, will enable him to be Certainly a very good player under Mourinho, but yeah, three assists for him, then he gets subbed off, we bring five more changes, uh, I think Romero comes on, uh, Darmian, Rojo, Jones, um, and there's a couple of others, Memphis, I think, yeah, I think that's it actually, but anyway, 22 players for Manchester United played in this game, 11 in the first half and then 11 in the second half, so every player got rotated, the only player that wasn't brought mm -hmm. off on the bench 
was Johnson uh, Johnston because obviously De Gea and Romero are ahead of him, so two goalkeepers, no point subbing on a third. But um, yeah, a another key point, it really highlighted why we need Pogba in this team. Because as soon as Michael Carrick came on, I haven't even mentioned that he got subbed on, but as soon as he was subbed on, he was making subliminal passes. He was the glue that uh, kind of stuck the team together in the second half. And at 35, he's clearly our best central midfielder, so it's kind of worrying. And that is exactly why we're signing Pogba. Schneidlin was ineffective this game. Herrera was ineffective to a degree. He was a little better, but um, you can kind of see that. And I know a lot of fans don't like Fellaini. And for fuck's sake, ugh, stupid sirens, you can probably hear that. But anyway, a lot of fans don't like Fellaini, but to be fair, when he's not used as a focal point, and when he's not a key player, he's a very, very good player that's got different attributes that not many players at our club, well, I don't think any players at our club have, like, the, the physical prowess of Fellaini. He's a very different player. And when he's brought off the bench in particular, or he's played correctly, he can be a good player. And he scored the fourth goal, a looping header over the goalkeeper, and then a fifth goal, which was just unbelievable play. I think everyone was involved. You had Memphis, Lingard, Rashford, but it comes out to Carrick. Lovely ball into Juan Mata, and he toe pokes it in, 5-2. Unbelievable. Four goals in a matter of, like, 20 minutes. We scored three of them in eight minutes. So, yeah, very, very positive signs. It just shows that a lot of players that maybe were written off are trying to show that they are good and in this brief glimpse we've got obviously we lost 4-1 to Borussia Dortmund and a lot of the same players that perform very well against Galatasaray perform badly against Borussia Dortmund but we'll put that down to you know early pre-season preparation like Dortmund have played four games we'd only played one that was well documented so it is only pre-season and it's good to get a few losses in because it shows that you're not invincible shows your weaknesses and uh, yeah, going basically not losing under the Van Gaal pre-seasons really didn't help us. Beating Real Madrid, Barcelona, LA Galaxy 7-0. And then we lose 2-1 opening day to Swansea. So, you know, there, there is a silver lining and it's good to lose some matches. But this one, considering we've only got... We've got a very short pre-season, which is annoying because obviously the Man City game got called off. So there's a game less. But we've only got Rooney's testimonial before we play Leicester City in the Community Shield. And then the big start of the season against Bournemouth which is the key game so it was important to see some good performances and we certainly did we saw Zlatan debut goal as well so yeah things are looking really really good and uh, as you probably have noticed I've got the new United home kit I've got Mkhitaryan 22 on the back because I do think he will be our player of the year come the end of the season I think he's a very very exceptional player he was relatively quiet in this game but as I say some of those darting runs that he made kind of show uh, later down in the season he if he's making those sort of runs which I'm sure he will and the players will know he's going to make those runs then I'm sure he'll get on the end of them stay on side and that will create a lot of goals for us goals and assists so yeah that's why I think he'd be player of the year but um, of course there's a lot of contenders one thing I think is certain is that it's not going to be David De Gea this year which is good as good as he is it's always better to see an outfield player get player of the year and I hope that's going to be the case we've got a lot of good performers early days though obviously pre-season won loss and drawn so uh yeah we'll see when the big work starts against Leicester and Bournemouth but uh as of now we've got one more game Rooney's testimonial I'll bring a match review of that but let me know what you think of this game in the comment section down below hopefully you have enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already like the video and yeah peace